Okay, this is Dragon of Journey. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Now, I've uh, recorded some Stormblood Hildebrand quests for some videos, and I thought I'd record a couple more quest lines. Just because, why not? So, I guess in this video, I'll be going through the Allied Beast Tribe quest line in Stormblood. So, there's a Realm of Born version, there's a. Heaven's Ward version, and I didn't record those. But I wanted to record this one, so why not? So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I believe for this you need to have Blood Sworn with Namazu, Ananta, and Kojin. So for Namazu, you need to have a level 60 crafter or gatherer. So good luck with that. Uh -huh. So let's see, East Aldenar Trading Company Assistant. The Ananta Maid's Tale. Hancock's apprentice is peering out about in earnest. Well. Ah, uh, Mr. Scrandini. I should really have my name changed. Yeah, that's just a huge fairy tale reference. Hancock sent me to look for you. I'm glad to have found you so close by. He said he needs to meet you with you, but wasn't clear on the details. I suppose he'd rather explain it to you in person. Would you mind taking a moment to speak with him? He's over at the harbour. Okay. Thank you. Just make your way to Pier Number Two, if you please. I'll let Hancock know he can find you there. Okie dokie. Are you going? Can I see the quest objective? Come on, buddy. Thank you. So, she'll cause a hostile. Okay, okie dokie. So, wait for Hancock at Pier Two. Uh, hostelry. So, let's see over here then. Destination! Destination. Waiting. My Namazu pet is flopping. <laughs> What's up, Hancock? How you doing? Mary Ashley, my friend. Good to see you again. Hello. Thank you for coming to meet me. Oh, well, I confess, lad, I knew you would. You are such an agreeable sort. Always ready to help your friends and close acquaintances. Uh-huh. There's no need for such facial exertion. My request is a straightforward one. As it happens, I've been asked to escort a few members of the Alamegan Resistance on a tour of Kagani. It seems they are interested in seeing the fortifications they, that have allowed Hingashi to survive as an isolationist nation for so long. I've never met them, and it occurred to me that the presence of someone such as yourself, who has an established rapport with the Resistance, might smoothen our introduction. What say you? Right you are, my bosom companion. If I just have to stand there, fine. Right you are, you might buzz and companion. <laughs> I've been hanging around with Hildebrand too much. Good to hear, particularly as they'll be here any moment. And who is it that will be here? Any time now. By my estimation, they should be disembarking just about now. Aha, and right I am! Oh, it's a two from the Ananta Beast Tribe story, okay. Esteemed members of the Resistance, welcome to Gagane! Allow me to introduce myself, I am Hancock of the East Aldenor Trading Company, and I will be your guide to this fair city. I appreciate you co your coming to meet us. I'm Alpa, captain of the Belladina Gatekeepers. There she's a snake lady, you have to do the S's. And I am Yolheim. Yolmeen? Yol, Yolmeen. I'll go for Yolmeen. That's probably not your name, but I'm going for it. Alpha's second in command. Pleasure to meet you. Is that you, Mary Ashley? Fancy meeting you here of all places. What a pleasant su surprise. I'm going to suck at these S's. Are you here to show us around? 
Now that is an exciting proposal, Miss Alpa. I'm certain the two of you would feel more at ease seeing a city with someone you know. Don't you agree, Mariashna? Do I have to? In that case, I shall leave the role of guide to you. Meanwhile, I can secure accommodations for our guests. I get the feeling that you didn't have much choice there. Sorry about all this. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. If it's alright, I'd like to visit the castle first. I'm eager to see his fortifications. Yeah, her sisters do the S's a lot more often than she does. I gotta wonder how she has balance with that. You know? Oh yeah, well. So, let's see, Alper and Yolmin. I don't know if that's her name, but I'm going for it. Hello. Impressive, visually speaking, anyhow. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, me and a group of adventurers snuck into it in a dungeon. But yeah, it's pretty impressive. It's beautiful. It does look nice, but I can't imagine it's much use as a fortress. Too decorative. What unusual attire. I can see you are not native to Kogani. May I ask where you hail from? By the Kami, that tale is real. Are you a mermaid? Don't be absurd. I'm no mermaid. I'm an Ananter. There are many like Alper and Alamigo, our homeland. There's no need to be alarmed. Ah, so you are of a Western race. Then, pardon me, I jumped to conclusions. It can be somewhat dull guarding the gate here, particularly as only an utter fool would try to break in. So I sometimes let my imagination get the best of me. It's alright. No offence taken. But if you have a moment, would you mind telling us more about this castle? I'm curious as to how a single guard at gate is sufficient to keep it secure. Of course, I'm no expert, but I will gladly teach you what I know. Consider it an apology for my rudeness. The central keep that towers above us is a com... is... <laughs> I can word. The central keep that towers above us is of a complex and strategic make, incorporating myriad defensive elements. As you can see, the most prominent part of the facade features regular openings from which to unleash a veritable hail of arrows, or musket rounds. We call these Sama, and they make it nigh on impossible for an enemy to approach from the front. Similarly, those unlucky souls who attempt to scale the walls are likely to be met by tumbling boulders or boiling oil released by those manning the many battresses. Or brattices, have we said. Should one somehow manage to infiltrate the castle proper, he will find it a trial to get out again, for the pathways inside are maze-like by design. To think something so elegant in both form and function, I am impressed. Well that said, the castle has been taken before. Not too long ago, an unscrupulous sort named Kageyama and his underlings managed to sneak in during one of the Bugyo's galas, taking advantage of the stream of people entering the castle which mainly goes to show that all of the clever defences in the world mean nothing if you fail to check who's coming through the front door. A most instructive tale, thank you. I had a feeling that I would find you here. Your accommodations are ready. Since your journey was a long one, I recommend you stop for a soak in Kugane's famed hot springs. Before you continue your sightseeing, I can personally vouch for their efficiency in zooming in body and soul. In that case, how could we refuse? That's settled then. Just make your way to the Bakairo Inn at your leisure. I must return to the Ruby Bazaar. But I've ensured that you will find everything in order. Okie dokie. My first thing in Hot Springs. I hope you'll join us. Sure, why not? Why not? All women here? <laughs> She really is like a fairy tale mermaid come to life. Do you have a bathe as a for a surprise? 
Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> oh, they're not going to tell me to hunt me there. They're just going to make me walk. Really? Really? Ugh. All right, all right. Okay. Let me get to a bloody if for right. So, if for right, Bakaro in. Ah, let's go see the fan server scene. Hi, Alpa. The inn is spectacular. I've never seen anything like it, and to think that we can just go right in. I wish I could show it to Giles, for it might be safer not to. Oh yeah, he's OCD. Anyway, Yolmin went inside to change ages ago, but it doesn't seem like she's coming out anytime soon. She does wear an awful lot of armor. Why don't we have a look around while we wait for her? There's no harm in that, right? True, true. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Stupid sexy rogue again. Uh-huh. Does he actually speak? Stupid sexy rogue again. <laughs> oh, yeah, he said it. Lovely. So anyway, Alpha, how you doing, hun? Seeing it has only made me want to get in more. Y'all mean won't mind if we meet her in the water, right? Right? So, let's go. Unless you need some time to change into your bathing suit as well, I hear it's customary to wear one, at least in Kugane. Um... Do I have one? Um... Uh-oh. Uh, here's a question. Um, I don't have one. <laughs> you think with the amount of time I spent on this character, I would have arranged a bikini. Oh well. I could just take it all off. <laughs> oh, that's silly. But sure. Boop. 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 There, does that work? Uh huh, uh huh. Enter the hot springs in your current garb. Sure. Sure. I probably should have took the jewelry off. Oh well. This feels wonderful. I'm so glad we came to Hingashi. It's nice to properly relax once in a while. What there? Is that a mermaid? The tail, the scales, unmistakably a mermaid. I can't believe they've been real this whole time and right here in the hot springs. That is ridiculous. I'm clearly no fish. I suppose people who have never seen an Ananta just don't know what else to make of you. Is that a bath bomb? Oh no, I know who that is. Well, I never. Mermaids in the bath. I know who that is. That's a guy from the... Naza Jab. This is the villain that appears in every single Allied Beast Tribe questline. He appeared in A Realm Reborn, he appeared in Heaven's Ward, and now he appears in Stormblood. I expect somehow he'll appear in Shadowbringers. Just a feeling. Did someone say mermaid? What's this? A seeker? And one with most unfortunate features at that. Not as unfortunate as your manners. And I would say something about the creepy mask, but I reckon the face beneath it 
it's even worse. Now, am I meant to believe that you don't recognize me, Nazajab? You certainly have the look of an Eorzean. Perhaps my legacy has not yet reached whatever drab little corner of the realm you call home. Hmm, yes, on closer inspection, I can see that our Far Eastern friends simply mistook serpent for fish. Not that it matters for my purposes, of course. I can hardly believe I came upon a convincing substitute so soon. Yo! I fought you twice. That's not for your leering! Smoke screen! What are you doing? Get your hands off of me! Alpa! I swear, you masked maniac, if you've done something to Alpa. It's funny, I thought only to make a bit of coin on my travels through this foreign land, but it seems the Beastmen and I are simply meant to be. In any case, I'll be helping myself to this one. I welcome the challenge, so feel free to hunt me down. If you can. Ha. 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 <laughs> That asshole. I should really work out some glamours for myself. Yeah. Well, now that that fan service uh, cutscene is done, back to the gear. And bubble. I do have everything on, right? Yes. Lovely. Hells, take that, Nazan. What is he anyway? I can't believe he managed to snatch Alpa right out from under us. No, now's not the time. Our first priority needs to be tracking them down. Thankfully, if the locals' reactions are far from it, so far. <laughs> Thankfully, if the locals' reactions so far are anything to go by, I'm sure they stood out. We can start by asking around. You might want to get some clothes on first, hon. Just bring it out there. Ah well. Ah well. The fan service continues, I guess. So yeah, I really wish I had some sort of glamour for that. Like an actual bathing suit. Yeah, but my... My armory chest is already quite full. <laughs> Aren't there glamour sets I can have? Possibly. Did you see a Makode pass through? It's important. Can I do a little check here? She's a cutie, and I would like to try out that hairstyle. Eh. Eh. Ah, well. Boop. Boop. Ah, uh, Makote. Ma'am, I'm afraid I don't quite know what you mean. Alright, I'm talking about someone with ears like mine. Male. A bit on in the facial area. He might have been behaving strangely too. Does that ring a bell? Oh, see, so folks are called Makote. I've seen quite a few of you around Kugane of Light, and there was a man fitting that description over by the Shore Pier when I passed by not too long ago. I guess we'll head south seaside then. Thanks for your help. Makote, what a charming name for a people! And they do have the nice steers. Why, thank you for nosing. So, further south then, where am I going? Uh, to... Kagane of Unakura... Kura? Of Unakura. I want to put a space between the of. But that's just because my own bloody name. Oh well. So, where am I going then? That actually kind of scared me. <laughs> Random noises. Oh joy, this asshole. The Makote before you is slumbering vigorously. Though he seems to be in a bad way, he is unmistakably... What the hell was that noise? He is unmistakably alive and will probably survive without your intervention. <laughs> okay. This is not what I was expecting in a variety of ways. 
Now that we've found him, I suppose we ought to make sure Eli doesn't die. We're going to need to wake him up first. I don't know, maybe poke him in the face? Alright. And you're sure he's not already dead? In that case, we'll have to get creative. And I have just a thing. Well, he does anyhow. Oh. Just as I thought, he never leaves home without his mark. X-L-I-I. -I. Excuse me for a second while I Google this. X-L-I-I. -I. Uh, what does XLII -I mean? Being more than 40. 42, 42. Cardinal. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's 42. His mark 42 grenades. I assume he he took the time to remove some of the gunpowder. Or some of the powder. <laughs> Can I just redo this whole sentence? Just as I thought, he never leaves home without his mark 42 grenades. I assume he took some time. He took. Fuck me. I assume he took the time to remove some of the powder after his prior experiences. So they should be safe enough. Not born in his general direction, would you? Alright. I'll stand back a bit, just in case. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. Welp. I suppose that does a job. <laughs> I believe I last truly grasped the meaning of the phrase a rude, a rude awakening. Which is to say, ow. Make no mistake, I am delighted to see you, Marashna. But I would appreciate it if you would put a little bit more effort but I would appreciate it if you would put a little more thought into your method of greeting next time. I was having such a nice dream too. I can't say I expected, uh, expected quite that large of an explosion. I thought for sure you'd remember to take the powder out this time. But why are you here anyway? Gah! You'll mean! Your attire is rather less present than usual. You mentioned it, I did forget to put my uniform back on, didn't I? How did you only just notice that? You were carrying a weapon, weren't you? More importantly, though, we have a serious problem on our hands. Mazette, are you even listening to me? Yes, I'm listening and definitely making a normal amount of eye contact. But never mind that, Alpha's been kidnapped! I saw her being carried away by a man with a most peculiar mask. You saw him? Um, yes. Um, yes? Yes. As it happens, I stood away on your ship to get here. And that went perfectly smoothly, thank you very much, until you two disembarked and ran off, leaving me without a clue where to go. As I was wondering about aimlessly, as one does, I saw the masked man with Alper in tow. I called out to them, and he hit me. Without so much as a warning. Before I fully lost consciousness, however, I witnessed something vital. He and Alpa boarding a small boat. Okay. I'm positive they'll head out to sea. Then there's not a moment to waste. We'll board the ship at once. You too, Mazette. Of course, I would never abandon Alpa in a time of need. In fact, I shall begin scanning the seas in search of any passing vessel that can carry us right aw away right this moment. Feel free to say... Fe feel free to say, put a coat on while I do. Oh. Alright. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. Oh. 
Just compliment her like a normal person. It's my first time seeing her wear anything but armor. What do you want from me? True. Ruby seas under ruby skies. The old mean is more than ready to set. Is more than ready to set to track. Is more than ready to set to tracking Nazar. Nazaja. Nazar. 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 She's more than ready to track the asshole across the sea. Just wait till I get my hands on that Nazar ah, job. At least we have some idea where he's headed, Valpa, thanks to Mazet. I've decided to reward him by not pushing him into the sea, even though he's making it so very tempting. More importantly, why do you reckon we should start our search? How about the Ruby Sea? They likely passed by the Ruby Price. Well, what are we waiting for? Yo, mean, where are you going? You know, you can offer some of your clothes, you know? Be a gentleman. A gentleman inspector. <laughs> nah. Right, where am I going? Uh, Ruby Price. Kugan Idori? Hi. Kugan Idori and Ephrite to get out of here. So, boop. And Ruby Price. And we're good to go. I hope. So, let's see... over there. Mazesh, you finally got some clothes on. Lovely. And you've got your spear. Finding Alpa is my first priority. What? Can't you tell? Okay. Right, now that we're here, let's split up and ask whether anyone has seen a mass Makote and a mermaid about. An excellent plan. Ah, it's so nice to have everything back to normal. This had better not be about my attire again, if you hadn't noticed. Alpha has been kidnapped by a masked maniac. So I'll go find some eyewitnesses before I change my mind about drowning you. Ah, oh, young love. I never did get to tell a lot of her swimsuit was fetching. But at least I managed not to make a fool of myself. Well, about that. Let's see. Potential eyewitnesses. Overzealous cannoneer. A man wearing a sinister mask? He certainly hasn't passed through here, I would know. I've been looking for suspicious persons to fire at all night. Maybe paid the ruby triff, trifes, tries, triff, ties? Ah, uh, whatever the bleep thing's called. Let's see, Mazetti is over here. This is infuriating, no sign of any boats accompanied, campaigned by British Makote. No whispers of one having passed by previously. Now I see why Yolmin is so annoyed. Do you? Do you see why she's so annoyed? Ah, there we go. Hello, inflammable soldier. A suspicious man with a uh, mermaid? Ha ha ha, very funny, you westerners and your jokes. Well, you're an asshole. Yolmin. Let's see. Any luck? Nope. You too, huh? It seems we've hit a dead end here. I haven't the slightest idea what to do now, though. Whoa! Oh. What's he gotten himself into this time? Come on, my Ashna. Okay. Oh. Hello. A Kojin of the blue. Oh, well, technically he's green. Wait, is that Kabuto? What's the meaning of this? First you burst out of the ward like some sort of sea monster, and now you friend me with a blade. I don't even know who you are or what you are. You know not what you stole from me, but you shall come to regret it. Sukumo is more precious than any treasure. Return my at once. Help me, Marash, now being beset by this, uh, turtle? Man? Turtle man! Marash, no, one not coincidence. Okay, the music's calm down. 
Or not a coincidence at all, since you two seem to know each other. In which case, you have my apologies. I should not have drawn my blade without Bazoom. Think nothing of it, as the future leader of the M Tribe, I was not all alone by your sudden menacing advance, not in the least. I am a Zatia, by the way. And any friend of my Ryashna's is a friend of mine. I am on to meet you. My name is Kabuto, and I lead the Blue's Divine Circle. My name's Yolmin. I'm with the Veladina Gatekeepers in Alamigo. Can I ask why you were on the point of skewering... Mazed? Ah, in my haste, I unfortunately mistook him for a thief who recently snatched Sukumo from my helmet. Oh yeah, Sukumo. I forgot about that. He had an animated doll which then turned into a materia. Which he put on his helmet, I think. I could be completely wrong about that. It's been a while since I've done the Beast Tribe quest. What precisely is this, Sukumo? You seem rather keen on getting it back. Sukumo is my dearest companion and guide, who once walked beside me as a Karakuri puppet blessed with a soul. He is now present only as materia, but continues to watch over me. Wait, wasn't Nazes holding something that looked an awful lot like materia when we saw him at the hot springs? Could that mean Sukumo? If so, it would mean that he robbed Kabuto before kidnapping Alpa, and that we almost certainly won't find him on the Ruby Sea. But why not? If it were me, I wouldn't want to risk my prize being retaken by its rightful owner, and fending off, fending Kabuto off would be a sight more difficult with Alpa in tow. I put, mm, I put money on Nazaz, having made for land as quickly as possible. A reasonable conclusion, assuming he was headed for Offa, the most direct route would have taken him through the village of Asari. To Asari we go! We'll follow your lead, Kabuto. When else do you have to pay the ruby price? Just saying. Oh well. So I guess I'm going to Asari. Where's Asari again? All the way over there. Tell you what, save a bit of travelling time. Get the teleport in the north. So, speak of Yolmin. I'm probably butchering her name, and I apologize for that. I just... I can't pronounce cat names. I can't pronounce Mikote names. Simple as that. <laughs> so, Asari's over there. Okie dokie. Oh, my noble Cactuar blimp thing. Which has a Moogle and a baby Chocobo on it. This was a tremendous waste of 2 million MGP. <laughs> oh, I suppose if I want to get everything, then it's not exactly a waste. It's just part of the completionist. Good luck if the completionist ever does a MMORPG. <laughs> well, let's see, Kabuto. I must retrieve Skumo at all costs. Not at the cost of your own life, you idiot. How to best explain the situation? Perhaps I should start with Alpa. So, Alpa is an Ananta. Wait, so... An Ananta is a sort of person like a Murray, but not really. Yeah, just... Stop talking, Z. It's a Yolmin. What a charming little fishing village. What that we were here for some relaxing sightseeing. But we have a villain to catch and a captain to save. So let's get to it. Meet me back here once you've gathered as much information as you can. Okie dokie. I probably don't need to use this, but oh uh, well. So where oh we're well, we over here then. I thought that was I thought that was the village. Now let's be going over here. Let's see, seasoned fishermen. A suspicious man and a mermaid with him. No, there ain't many suspicious swords coming around our little village. And you'll pardon me for saying so, but I don't seem like... It don't seem likely that a mermaid would keep such company. Uh-huh. Sociable fisherman. Hmm, I haven't seen your mystery man, but I can tell you that mermaids have been a subject of some discussion around here as of late. Oh... Uh, 
You see, local legend has it that somewhere out there, far from the sight and grasp of the ordinary man, or what we Hinkins call the Free Wonders. Mermaid's flesh being one is said to grant eternal life, or life eternal, be that for better or for worse. A few moons past, a young lady born to one of Kagane's oldest and wealthiest families proclaimed that, should any gentleman presume to ask for her hand in marriage, she would accept nothing less than all three wonders as a dowry. It's a fool's errand, soon enough. We Hingans love our fairy tales as well as any folk, but we know the three wonders are no more than fantasy. You have to admire her clever ploy to remain unwed, though, which is why it's a talk for the land. Oh, so Mazette's doing this to be a gold digger, I assume? A masked man carrying mermaid. Frankly, I'm not even sure I could imagine such a sight, and I certainly haven't witnessed it. I did see a man with a curious mask, though. He made landfall in a small boat, and I assume departed on foot soon after. As I haven't seen him since, I'd wager lad he made for the Adam Stepper Young Shah. Like most who pass through here. Okie dokie. So I assume the... The Sukumo is one of the three wonders as well. Probably. Oh, and there's a third wonder going to be in Namasu. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh-huh, you say the same thing. You say the same thing. Now that we're all back, let's share what we learned. Hopefully between the four of us, we'll all... We'll have heard enough to go on. Yeah, so three wonders, he's going to dad and step. Hmm. So though Nazar was indeed sighted, no one can confirm which direction he departed in. And if your source is correct, Alpa is no longer with him. Did he stash her somewhere before landing in Asari? And where is he now? The Three Wonders may provide a clue. According to folklore, the treasures are... Mirflesh, the Jewel of Fair Souls, and the Philosopher's Fin. I shudder to think of the young lady being forced to marry Nazar, of all people. But based on his fet so far, it does seem like he is collecting the wonders. Or treasures with passing similarity to them, at least. Indeed, if Sukumo is his substitute for the Jewel of Fair Silvers, and your Alpa is meant to be the source of mer flesh, that leaves only one. Flesh. Certainly implies a level of dismemberment that I'm not comfortable with. We have to stop him! Yes, I realise that. If you have any brilliant ideas as to how, now's the time. We can't allow him to stay one step ahead of us. Well, that fin seems like a good idea. I will chase the Kumo's captors to the end of Hydaelyn if I must. Wait for us, Alper. Y'all mean fish in a barrel. Yep, we're going there. To the creepy catfish with human eyes. Lovely. Y'all mean seems uncertain of how to proceed. We can say with some certainty that Nazar has made for either Yangsha or the Asm Step, where he can only be up to no good. But it's also likely that Alpa has been imprisoned somewhere between here and Kagane, so which should we seek? I'd be happy to ask the other members of the Divine Circle to search for your friend. There are no finer seekers of treasure on a Divine Sea. Of, on the Ruby Sea. And it would free us to continue tailing the thief. Hmm. While I would prefer to see to Alpa's safety myself, I can't deny that I'm at a distinct disadvantage in these lands. It probably would be better to leave the search to those more familiar with the area while we pursue Nazar. He's after the... what is, was it now? Philosopher's Fin, correct? If our assumptions are right, that's the only one left. And we know he's not too particular as to whether he lays hands on the real thing. Ashna, do you have any idea of what could pass for the Philosopher's Fin at a glance? He seems an easily caught in the sword. A Fin from Suigetsu the Enlightened. He sure talks enough. And Namazu speaks and articulately that. Yes, he does sound like a prime candidate. However, one could easily call all of the Namazu who have mastered the common tongue of Finn philosophers 
We cannot count on our villain to be selective, nor do we know if he makes for Dor Il or other Yuzuka Manor. Well, if potential Finn for losses can be found in either location, I suppose we'll have to split up and cover both. I'll take Yakuza Yuzuka Manor. Mazette can come with me, if only so that I can keep him from accidentally injuring anyone. Himself included. Anyway, I'm sure the locals will be able to point us in the right direction. So I guess you and I are going to see them in Amazu. Then we will hasten for Dora Ilo. I only hope that we arrive in time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I'm trying to think of what the whole Beast Tribe stories were for the Ananta, the Kojin, and the Namazu. The, Na the Namazu, you had to help them make a festival. The Kojin, you had to help them make like a May Vault for the treasures. And the Ananta, you had to help a group of them make a... make a castrum area, like a suitable gate area, with lodgings and stuff. It was weird. Oh, uh, let's see, in this place. Kabuto! Is this your first time here? I've been helping these guys out for months. I had heard words of the festivities taking place here, but I wasn't aware they would be so extraordinary. I'm sure it'd be a good story to tell. Oh, hi, you two. By the big one! Our comrade and Finns! You are here to assist with our new project, yes, yes? Our greatest, latest, greatest event! What? I interpret that as... I haven't the foggiest idea of what you speak. My god, you're fucking human eyes! Creepy! It's really creepy. I do have the bell from you guys, though, as a necklace. It's very nice. So allow me to explain thoroughly. We are currently planning our most ambitious event to date, an exceedingly cultured performance based on the beloved Carol of Eld, Grey Kings of Orient. This is a Christmas play. We have spread word of our upcoming masterpiece far and wide, from Kugane to Yangsha. So doubtless a great many will be in attendance. By the by, sir, it is rare to see one such as yourself here on a step. Am I correct in assuming you are an ambassador of the Kojin tribe? And how might I address you? My name's Kabuto. I am indeed a Kojin of the Blue and the leader of the Divine Circle. We typically pursue treasure, but our quarry today is a villain whom we suspect is searching for the Philosopher's Finn. We have travelled here to stop him before anyone comes to harm. Oh, are you by chance speaking of the Philosopher's Finn as detailed in New Records of Ancient Matters? One of the Free Wonders? Fascinating. But why seek it in the Asm Step? I'm quite certain the records make no mention of location. Well, you see, he's not particularly picky, and he just wants a fin from one of you guys. Ah, so naturally, having spoken to Mary Ashner, you concluded that I would most readily be identified as a source of the requisite fin. Esteemed as I am, indeed, there could hardly be a more obvious choice for fin philosopher. Or... Just putting that out there. This guy. <laughs> Wait, wait. I seem to recall from our many, many discussions that the Philosopher will not be played by you, Gyofu. Sugetsu the Enlightened. We decided on Gyore for that role, remember? And we already made the costume to fit her. Gyore's a girl? The role of Philosopher? Perhaps we should hear more about this new event of yours. Oh, farewell. In our upcoming performance, we reenact re the journey to the West made by the Free Kings in days of yore. Yorai has been chosen to dress as the Philosopher King. One would think that an Amazu best suited for said role would be I, who get to the enlightened most erudite and learned among us, renowned all for all the meditation on the metaphysics of merrymaking. But Gyoshin continually, continually insists. That's it! Naza must have heard about the performance, and I had learned that it would include a philosopher. That is why he made for the Asm Step. If he also knows that he has been selected for the role of Philosopher King, Kyore will be in grave danger. Where is she now? If I recall correctly, she spoke of travelling to the Dawn Throne to retrieve the ritual offerings from the Oranea's stock. We've been running low, as someone keeps 
partaking without authorization. Then we must make for the Dawn Throne at once, with me! I was not really following any of that, no, no. But I am most confident Lakuore's fins should remain attached to Gore. She needs those. It is... it's all well and good for Gyoshin to sprint off to... big one knows where. But it is hardly advisable for me to leave the festivities unsupervised. I will remain here and inform Gyore of the situation should she return. Okay. Do, 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 do. So, Dawn Throne. And boom. I love the song so much. It's so peaceful and happy. This one, not so much. So, let's see over here then. Kimuro, how are you doing? Destination, Gyoshin. Hello. You must find Gyore before Nazar does. I'll protect Kyori's appendages, yes, yes. Am I allowed to ship? Can I ship to Namazu? Is that allowed? Can I please ship someone in this freaking game? This and World of Warcraft are constantly blue balling the shippers. And it's annoying. So many levels. What are you doing with your whiskers? I've never seen him do that. Where are you going? Goodness, how kind of the already to share so much food with us. It will take more than a few Namazu to eat through all of this, thankfully. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Can I help you with something? Yes, yes. I'm supposed to believe that... I'm supposed to believe that's the face of a philosopher. But I suppose a fin's a fin, and the client won't know any better, so in you go. Fish in a barrel! What is the meaning of this? Let me out! How did we just allow it to happen? Barrel into the water? Oh no, no! Stop! Stop! Airship? He really was after Gyori's fins. And now she has both of the now he has both of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we royally fucked up. Oh. No. Teleport? Do we get a teleport? Gyoshin! Does his wickedness know no bounds? No. No, it doesn't. He put her in a barrel! The horror, the indignity! What do we do? We should speak with our comrades at, y y at Yuzuka Manor. They need to hear this, and may have an idea of where Nazar would take his ill gone treasures. Can you contact them? Alright, oh, I have a phone. Can't believe you forgot about that. Nothing to report here. Have you had any luck? He's kidnapped an Amazu named Gyore. That's not good. He's got all three of the wonders in hand, then. But if we are to assume that his sudden quest for the three wonders and the young lady's wedding dowry are connected, there's a chance that he would revisit Kagane at some point, whether to present the items to her or to her would-be suitor. Or to her would-be suitor, yeah. He would have to retrieve Alpha beforehand, of course, meaning that we finally have a chance to get ahead of him. We can return to Kagane first and be ready to snare him when he arrives. Let's rendezvous in Kagane at, uh, say, ah, the Bukairo Inn. I'll see you there. What did your mean suggest? I thought that was Goshen. <laughs> Lay a trap in Kagane? It could work, but we will need to return post haste. We should tell Gyuf to get to the Enlightened first. I'm sure he will have many, many thoughts on the situation, maybe even a helpful one. Very well, we will speak to him before we depart. He is doubtless worried about Yore, and it would be unkind to leave him wondering. Okay. 
Speak to Gyoshin again. This has just been a lot of talking cutscenes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I probably should have talked to Kabuto first. Now, oh, well. <laughs> I'll find to get to the enlightened. Be right back. Okay. Two years later, Kyoshin has surprised me of the old news, and you intend to apprehend the culprit in Kogane? Yes, if we travel fast enough, we should succeed in reaching the city before Neza Jab does. I always have my travel hammer, travel all, travel spinning wheel, and travel anvil packed just in case. I am prepared. Ready to go. Yes, yes. The sack will be a tight squeeze with both of us. But if he puts Sugetsu in head first, and me in tail first. Stop right there, Yoshin. Exactly what are an artisan and a member of the Literai meant to do against an opponent who has foiled even Mary Ashna. For us to blunder in without a stratagem would be the height of folly. No. You two are to journey ahead to Kagane, lest Nazar arrive sooner than expected. Meanwhile, I shall devise an infallible plan, based on the principles laid forth in the smart of war. We shall drag you anon. I do not know what those principles are. Not even a little bit, no, no. But I will join you if you think you will get Gyore back. What could he be plotting? Who knows? Who knows in that weird, human-eyed mind of his? Who knows? Who knows? Ah, there we go. So this should be the final quest then. What a wonderful world! Kabuto is more than ready to part for Kagane and I get gratuity. Okay, another emote. It might serve us to have a clearer idea of Sugetsu the Enlightened's plan, but we can wait no longer to depart. Come, we should hasten to the Bakairo Inn. Okay, let me do another teleport real quick. And Gashi. So it looks like there's just four steps here. I didn't even use a weapon on anything. Yeah, true. I believe after this I need to check a certain... Where am I going? To the Bokairo Inn. It's anyway my travel forward. Yeah, for getting this quest done, they have new rewards for me to pick up, so I'm gonna need to take a look around. So oh, let's see, where am I going? Down here. Hello. The others should have arrived before we did. I assume that they have occupied themselves by gathering information throughout the city in the meantime. Okay. Do, 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 do. There's a lot of songs in this expansion I really like. I should get the OST. <laughs> uh, eventually. Oh, ow, trying to get myself more comfy. You two made good time. We left for Kagane just after I spoke of you and only arrived a short while ago ourselves. Have you been able to learn anything of Nazar? We were successful in returning to Kagane ahead of him, though not by much. He's already made port. We saw dock workers hauling a large bowl and a squirming sack from his skiff. And his close watch, unfortunately. So whatever his plans are, they're likely already in motion. The prisoners! Where has he sent them? There's a large vessel docked at Pier Number 1. It seems Alpengure have been taken aboard. I have Mazette keeping an eye on the situation. Is that a good idea? I saw the ship when we arrived. It's mis unmistakably the Kuroburo Maru, if I recall correctly. The merchant Kageyama purchased it for a hefty sum some time ago. Kageyama, you say? And who may that be? A man easily as vile as Nazar Jab himself. He once considered to take Kagane Castle, holding a Bugyo hostage as he made ludicrous demands. For thwarted, he used his health. <laughs> health? He used his wealth and influence to escape justice. This sounds like a tale of Vesperia plot. He has taken to using his tactic to nas. He is. He has taken. My God, mean words. He has taken to using his tactic. This tactic recently. It is said, in pursuit of a bride, spending more gil than most, 
will ever see in his attempt to snare the perfect woman. I couldn't make that sense of any of that word, but oh well. Or any of that sentence. <laughs> I'm ill, what, what can I do? A bride, hmm? Well, I think we found Nazar Jab's esteemed employer. Uh huh. Hello, Mariashna, is it? It is I. You know, your favourite Makote. Screw you. Dashing good looks. Ladies man, future none of the Amp tribe. Sorry, wrong number. Yes, well, I'm afraid we have a problem. One that requires your immediate attention, which that's why I contacted you. It's vital that you hear this as soon as possible. I've been dutifully keeping watch by the Ku Kurobo Kuroboro Maru. An Alper and the Namazu have just been brought on out on deck. We don't have much longer until our mermaid becomes mermaid's flesh. I would love to continue this little chat we're having, but I rather think you should come to Harper right away. Well then. Was that Mazet? Yes. This is our last chance then. We must stop Nazar once and for all. Indeed. Indeed. Speak with Mazet here at the harbor. Um. Uh, where am I going? Uh, Kagane Dori. Kugane Dori, Kugane Dori, Kugane Dori, Kugane Dori. Let's see. Speak with Mazetia at the harbor. Will do. Will do. Da -da 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 -da. Right, so where am I going? Up here? Oh. Hmm, I guess I'm going up here. If I need to drop down somewhere, I'll drop down. Ah, there we go. So six and two threes, really. Uh -huh. Hi. There you are, we must hurry. Alpha is a dear friend, and I won't have her turned into mints by some scheming and rather unattractive, I must say, villain. How oh, lovely. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, yeah, you were the guy in the boss fight with uh, your Jimbo. Forgot about that. Merflesh. The Philosopher's Fin. And the Jewel of Fair Souls. With this she can no longer deny me. And what a pretty thing she will be beside me at our matrimonial feast. I can taste it now. What, the feast of her? I'm gonna go for the ladder. I couldn't, pos I couldn't possibly care less about what you intend to do for the goods, so long as I am fairly constant <laughs> constipated, compensated. <laughs> and speaking of payment, I think it's time that we finish up here. I need only carve the meat. Oh no, you don't! Someone dynamic entry now, please. Yeah, yeah, you block that steel with a wooden pole. Not a chance! Finally caught up, have you? For I doubt you have much more to offer this time round. Ooh! Sweeping attack. Yo, main! That was dirty. What, afraid you couldn't defeat her in a fair fight? I merely prefer to spend my time on foes that are actually worthy, or at least suitably entertaining. But if any of you believe you'll present a greater challenge, then by all means. Very well, I will defeat you myself, and have you return to Kumo here and now. I see, I see them. They are most visible. What? Oh! Holy shit! 
<laughs> Ramming speed, yes, yes! Holy shit! Yes! You use the fucking flying Makoshi! The fucking flying Makoshi! That is the greatest thing in the world! <laughs> and that is the greatest thing in the world! Oh my god! <laughs> that is fucking hilarious and I love it! <laughs> that whistle! It's the Seke Tsugumi! I'm sorry I didn't even hear it while I was laughing my ass off! Pity. I was just beginning to feel a twinge of excitement. But I see I must take my leave. A twinge of excitement? You've been cutting off! Let me guess. Airship? Boat. <laughs> Farewell, Eastern Beastmen. This little chase has been most amusing. Perhaps you may entertain me again someday. Doesn't he always explode at the end of these? How's he gonna explode this time? Not this time. That's the future nun. And a friend to Yulmin and Alpa both. I cannot let these crimes go unanswered. Are you gonna jump onto with him? Are you both gonna explode? That'd be amazing if it did. Trust me, sometime you have to learn the hard way. How to treat a lady! Seven hells! Really? Oh, now we find one with no powder. Ha ha! Ha ha As if explosives would save an adventurer's gaggle of misfits yet again! What? Oh. Okay. Okay! Is it the whale shark from World of Warcraft? Is the whale shark gonna claim another victim? Oh my god. Ah! Is he finally dead? Probably not. We'll see him somehow in first shard. Now we only need to in now we only need ensure that Kageyama meets with justice at the hands of the Seke Sugumi. Be better this time. That may po that may pose a problem. This where's that eel slipped off to? Oh not again. Someone stop him. He makes for Kagane Dori. Mario Ashna with me! We can meet at the Bokairo Inn afterward. I will carry the wounded there. We're counting on you. You're not carrying her, you know. You're carrying the fish man. Or fish woman, technically. Yeah, fish woman. The catfish. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Survey Kagane Dori from above. Okay, where am I going? From there. Okay. Do, 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 do. You alright, Alpa? This place is a maze! Yes, it is. It is, and it's annoying. How fair is your hunt? Okay, I must not escape us. Okay. Surveying! Found him yet? 
You need not push yourself, Appa. You have only just been freed from what must have been a very ter trying ordeal. I'll be fine. As captain of the Velodyna Keepers, I... Gatekeepers. I can't let evil go unpunished. How hard is it to find a guy with, a, with yellow pants? There! Hi. You don't have your Jimbo this time. What? How did you? Well, no matter. You may have followed me this far, but no further. Paupers of Gagane, behold my loose change. Oh, is that the gratuity one? Ooh, free money. Pardon me, sir, but could you move a bit to the left? Ma'am, it's better off while we capture the villain. Ah, they're not listening. Aha, look at them scrounging at my feet. It pays to be wealthy. Please leave this to me. Oh, yeah, she has. Oh, I'm not going to spoil this. You're wasting your time, little mermaid. I'm a mastery of monetary manipulation, and no one is easier to control than star coin starved commoners. Yeah, about that. And not to have this ability called gold. Like goldsmithing or something like that. Not even that. Gold bending. There we go. Good luck carrying the fish. What is the meaning of this? Oh, cruel fate. Why do you mock me? Well done, but why a fish? I saw one of the Namazu's strange contraption earlier. It was so cute, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I don't even like fish. Lol. I believe it's time you accepted your fate. Not this time, but much. Not this time. Yes, I think it's quite enough escape attempts. Well, yes, I think that's quite enough escaped attempts for one day. You've made it perfectly clear who the villain here is. Right, am I sick as me, friends? You can't do this to me. I have a woman to coerce. A matrimonial banquet to consume. Oh, so he was only thinking about the food. Well, you're an asshole. It seems that the matter is resolved at last. Shall we go and inform the others? Sure. Why not? Why not? Yeah, I completely forgot she has gold bending abilities. Like all Ananta do. So, I just have the hand in quest. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm done. Lovely. So... To the end of this quest line, and I didn't even have to lift my weapon once. Lovely. Whoa. Oh yeah, night time. How about that? Uh, what am I looking for? Bokairo Inn. Speak with Alper near the Bokairo Inn. And then, I guess I'm done. Bokairo, Bokairo, Bokairo. You! Alper! And Kabuto. Oh, you've got the thing on your head again. I paid visit to Shihumi. Thankfully, she was able to place Sakumo back where he belongs. Ah. The innkeeper's kind enough to call a doctor, but it seems that no one has more than minor injuries. And apparently, there's no better treatment for scrapes and bruises than the Bokaisen Hot Springs. I guess we'll just have to visit them again. Hang on. The one time I need a bikini, I don't have one. Oh well. I could go in a chocobo outfit. No. No, 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 no. Alright, let's do this. Uh huh. Ah, I had to scratch myself. Uh, ow. Ah, right in the shoulders. Unfortunately, I don't have a hot springs here. So, there's the Kojin, there's the Namazu, there's Alper, where's the dude then? 
Let's continue where we left off before we were so rudely interrupted, shall we? I'm so sorry, Alpa. What? You have absolutely nothing to apologize for. Not now, not ever. It's my duty to protect you and I failed utterly. And then it took so long to free you and I couldn't even manage to that I couldn't even manage that without help. Maybe not, but the rescue wouldn't have succeeded without your leadership. Not to mention how you saved me from being sliced in two. You may not be able to do everything yourself, but I couldn't ask for a better second in command. Alpa, I thank you. I'm grateful to everyone else too, of course. Marashna, Kabuto, Gyojin, Ms. Hold on, where's Mazette? Maybe he's still changing. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah! Never fear, it is I, Mazette. I discovered this floating in the sea after the Zard disappeared. How do I look? Rakish? Punch him. I'm throwing that back in the sea and you along with it. <laughs> well... <laughs> Just when you think he's learned something. If I may ask you, Shin, how did you know to how did you know to find us on the Kuroboro Maru? It was easy to spot you from above. I knew that stuffing the Makoshi with all the clouds breath in our stores was the right choice, yes yes. My, how convenient! And I'm glad you made it out safely too, Giore. Thanks to all of you, being trapped in a battle was harrowing and fraught with splintery peril, yes, yes. But it was worth it for a chance to enjoy these hot springs together. If you say so. What was that gem in your helmet? It is most unusual, quite unique. This is the soul of my dear friend Tsukumo, more valuable than any treasure in the whole of the Ruby Sea. He is what Nazar stole from me, and I am truly grateful to you for helping me retrieve him. As Giori said, despite our tribulations, I feel fortunate to have met you all. I hope that we can continue to strengthen our friendship now that we're all safe and sound. Then please come to our festival, yes yes. We can strengthen our friendship and all of our assorted limbs by carrying a Makoshi together. If you're ever in Azores... In Eorzea, come to El Amigo. The Velodyna gatekeepers will give you the grand tour, and you can stay at the Castellium. Aww. Why was this just a screenshot of me? Oh well, what a wonderful world! And that is the Allied Beast Tribe quest of Stormblood done. Your Allied reputation has increased to Allied. Oh, your Beast Tribe reputation has increased to Allied. You have achieved Allied reputation to Kojin, the Viera, or the, v the Vera, and an Amazon. Furthermore, you can now access a wider selection of where some she key Tafe, Madura, and Gyosho. You have learned the emote gratuitously. Through your efforts, the most prominent beast tribes of El Amigo and the Far East have forged bonds of friendship that promise to remain strong for the years. You are a hero to best you are a hero to beast men across many realms. Uh-huh, and I'll be a hero to beast men in the first shard in July. East meets west. So are they just in here all the time now? Well, I guess they've gone back home. Oh well. So I've Got a few things to check out from the several beast tribes. Uh huh. So let's see. Appearing stones. Yeah, use those. Yeah, I need to figure out what is new from these guys. Now that I've done that. Allied reputation. Let's see. I doubt this is going to help me much. Uh, Malta relations and anti relations. Nah, doesn't help me much. I could check out my own these videos. <laughs> uh, there's a fort. Uh, let's see. 
FF14. Stone Blood, Allied Beast Tribe, Rewards. Uh, let's see. Should probably put Meoni in there. So let's see, there's apparently someone here. So let's see. Madura! What new thing do you have? Oh, false nails, already have that. Accessories, nothing. Uh, wind up Kalyan. Eh? She may or may not break through the borderline. Already have that, already have that. Got those. Got that, have that, have that, have that. Adanta Metalworks. Hmm. Okay, I assume this is the new thing then? So, wind up Kaliana. Okay, well, I'll put Mioni's video on real quick and mute. Just so I know what I'm looking for here. So, let's see. Uh, Kaliana. So, that's essentially a different color than Nanta. Okie dokie. So, that's a new pet. So that was from the Ananta. What about from the Kojin? What do I get from the Kojin? Oh, come on. Let's see. Oh, wow, I'm on the wrong video. <laughs> I just noticed I'm on the really wrong video here. Uh, let's see, Mioni, video scroll down. Benchmark delayed, defining Beastman lore. Dancer differences, Minfilia's attire, that makes you have bigger boobs. Regalia autopilot. What am I looking for? Optus hairstyle. Sense of Sasamos, breaking outfit. Come on, it's gotta be somewhere here. Surely. Ah, uh, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Wind up Kaliana, red back minion. Oh, I see, so there's another uh, minion to get. So if this is like... <laughs> Where am I even going with this? I kind of want to have a little rant about World of Warcraft, how I had to get a thousand pets. Yeah, for an achievement. That was really weird. So let's see, wind up Kojin. Got that. Got that. Got that. Oh, oh, that's that's new. Another minion? Wait, what? More pushing for another cushion. So I guess you guys sell two minions then. And the Nantamel works as a housing option. Okay, okay. Zephyrus Zabuton. More pushing for another cushion. Okay. Uh, more pushing for another cushion. Summon your Zephyrus Xabaton minion. More pushing for another cushion. It's well documented that Hingans shun, shun chairs, preferring said to sit on the floor. What is less known, however, is that when a speaker utters something deemed clever, she is rewarded with cushions that she may sit in a position elevated above her peers. Behavior stationary. Okay. Well, that's weird. It's just giving me a cushion then. Let's see, rind up red back. Uh, master craftsman hailing from the coach of the blue conceived this ninja automaton with helps that may one day bring together his clan and the coach of red. How exactly an automaton? My do not has yet to be determined. So I thought it was pink, it's actually red. So, Cogent of the blue, Cogent of the red, and I know the blue are green. Uh, I'm not even going to go into that. So, final one is Dora Elo for the Namazu rewards then. So I got f t uh, three pets, I can get a housing item. What can I get from the Namazu? 
What can I get from you majestic bastards? Let's see. Open exchange. Uh, got that, got that, got that. The Big One Festival Float, an outdoor furnishing item for eight. And a Namazu mask for seven. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is stupid and I love it. Imagine going through New Game Plus with the main story of this on. That's fucking stupid, I love it. Oh, it's shame I can't buy it though. Yeah, yeah. Ah oh, well. So I guess with that, I'm gonna end this video here. Uh huh, this has been Dragon of Attorney going through more Final Fantasy XIV. In this video, I went through the Allied Beast Tribe questline of Stormblood. So, yeah, I've done that. I've gotten some new rewards unlocked, like new pets, new housing items, a stupid, stupid helmet, which I want to wear, <laughs> just to see if I can creep someone out, or at least surprise them. Now, what was I looking for? Oh, yeah, the emote. What was the emote? What was the one I got? Um, gratuity. Make it hail. Okay. Does it cost me any money to do this? I hope it doesn't. Huh, okay. So, I've got money throwing. Lovely. Uh-huh. So, I think with that viewers, I'm going to end this video here. This has been... Have I been already doing the outro? Oh, shows you how much of a... Did you just... Okay, I didn't know you did that. So if I did already do it, I apologise. Again, I'm... I'm... I've got a cold at the moment, so... <laughs> my head's not in the right place right now. So yeah, this has been Dragon of Journey going through more Final Fantasy XIV. Stormblood, in this video, I went through the Allied Beast Tribe quests in Stormblood. Or the Allied Beast Tribe questline in Stormblood to get more rewards. I don't know if there's going to be any more FF14 videos. I could do the patch 4.56 story. Uh, I'd rather not. There is something that I should do since it is limited time. So yeah, regardless of what order this is in, I think next episode... I'm going to be going after a certain little quest line, which will give me a full mount car. That'll be fun to show off. So, yeah, I kind of want to show it on the screen, but I don't have the quest to begin it. <laughs> so, yeah. That plan out, viewers, my rambling hopefully done. Until next time. <laughs>